Hello everybody, it's Gina, and we're here to do our weekly, our week in review. How did you all do on your weight loss journey? Did you have any good successes? Did you have a failure that is really bothering you? Let us know in the comments below. Let's see if we can talk about them, share with each other, and um, build up some community uh, below. Read each other's comments. Maybe you'll find that someone that you have seen on other channels, they're here and you can, you know, connect that way. Or go on connect. That's kind of what it's for. <laughs> <clears throat> this week's weekly is all about uh, preparing uh, meal planning, scheduling your meals. It's actually called schedule your meals. There you go. I feel like Tyler right now. <laughs> oh, if you guys watch, like to watch goofy people, go see Tyler Ramey. He cracks me up. Um, he has already been on a very successful weight loss program and now is um, like... Um, an instructor and I'm believing some type of director at his local YMCA um, in some type of management form there but the kids come a long way um, it says schedule your meals planning when you eat helps you manage your hunger avoid unplanned eating and make healthier choices see how Weight Watcher member Jane does it so then it talks about this particular person that lives in uh, Colorado she gave her whole scenario of what she does um, <clears throat> and I've not seen a plan I've not seen a weekly like this before but um, they literally went through like a whole day of her tracker is kind of what they did. At 5.30 to 6, she eats breakfast and um, she talks about everything that she uh, does in that time frame. And then 9.30 to 10 is snack number one. 11.30 is lunch. 2.30 to 3 is snack number two. And then dinner is at 6.30. She literally knows what time of day she's going to eat her snacks when she's having these meals coming up not only what she's eating but when she's eating it and so that's a lot what this particular weekly is about is just preparing yourself for success it says what to do know your hunger recognize the difference between internal and external hunger so she t our, our leader talked quite a bit about that today you know of course we know internal hunger is hunger pains Headache, lightheadedness, uh, maybe sleepiness, uh, all of those things can indicate hunger. But external <laughs> hunger is really sights, smells, um, even sometimes sounds. You know, um, there's a huge group of people on YouTube right now that watches one another due to the sound of eating. Um, so, there's something to be said about the sound as well. But external, um, outside forces, people, places, emotions, the sight and smell of food. Um, it's, I would say, a very demanding type of hunger. It, it isn't like, I have a hunger pain and I need to eat right now. External ones mess with your mind and you just can't stop thinking. Well, you really can't stop thinking about either. And one thing that our leader brought up, and she said, and what is the worst is when the two collide. You're starving, you're hungry, your stomach is growling, you're lightheaded, your head, your head is hurting, you're swooning, for lack of a better word, you need food. And someone comes across with, you know, hamburger fries and a soda pop. You know, the local donut store got delivered. You know what I'm saying? Things like that. Um... So when the two collide, it's, it's um, you know, you're setting yourself up for disaster there. So pre-planning and knowing when you're going to eat, don't allow yourself to get to the point of distracted eating if you have a plan. Um, 
It says once you can in, uh, recognize internal hunger, create an eating schedule to manage it. And that's what she talked about. You know, when you know you're going to get hungry at this certain time, it pretty much every day it happens, then plan to have your meal ready right then or just even maybe just a little bit before then so you don't get to that emotional state where you can get out of bounds. And I know I'm preaching to the choir right here because I'm I'm not meal planning. I'm not even in a really great mindset right now, but I am following plan. I've had blue dots every day for I think the entire month of February. I don't know. I don't want to go to my journey because I don't want to see my weight, but okay, so so there's the first. Oh, I'm, I went over. Oh, no, there's the first. There's the next page. Blue dots all the way around. And the next page. And the next page. I think I hit the same page a few times because we're only on day 20. So, and then up through the 19th. I probably hit it too many. I can't see. Blind as a bat. Y'all know that. So it's not that I'm not blue dotting. However, I don't know how much I've lost and I could have gained for all I know. I, you know, of course, I don't know. I won't know. Um, I, I talked about this on my last video, but I'll say it again here. It bears repeating. I'm actually going to do my weigh in at my actual Weight Watcher meeting next Tuesday, which is technically the 27th, not the 28th, because I don't want to go find another meeting the very next day. So I'm technically ending this um on the 27th. So I went from the 1st to the 27th without knowing what I weighed. So much less stress. However, I don't know a prox a progress or I, what's the word if you didn't progress? There's Carrie and Sandy right now texting me while I'm filming. Hi girls. So yeah. Doing my weekly. Um, an unhelpful thought might be when you're trying to shift your mindset. Uh, I want to lose weight, so I need to eat less. I'll go as long as I can without eating. Okay, I do that all the time. All the time. I I have talked about it. It's like beating a dead horse. I know you all have told me stop it, but I skip meals. I try not to, but but I do. and Or I prolong them as long as I can until I'm sick. I don't know why I do it. A helpful thought might be, I want to lose weight and I do need to eat less, but going long periods without eating can backfire if I get too hungry. I'll create a meal schedule to help me avoid unwanted eating. Much better thought. It just is. Um, and then here's the recipe, which looks like I will not be eating it because it's Chocolate pear quesadilla. It's pretty, but it's not something that the genie's going to be eating. So there you go. Information about it. And then apparently there's a cruise coming up. There's a cruise coming up with Weight Watchers, and there's a cruise coming up with Tyler Ramey. So it's a health type cruise, also. For all I know, it's the same cruise. I have no idea. No idea. Um, and then there's a coupon on the back. And that is literally it for the weekly. Um, the entire day was wrapped around planning what you're going to eat, prepping for it, having a plan. Don't let yourself go too long without food um, like I do every single Tuesday. I've told you a million times, I'm not going to do it no more. I'm going to eat breakfast. I don't care. I get myself set up and I still don't do it. I don't know. I don't know. It just is. It is what it is. So I'm getting there. I'm getting, I'm so much better, but we're going to find out how much I weigh next week. And this month is over. I don't know that I would do it again. It is less stressful. I don't weigh every day. However, the not weighing every week and every day is, is a bit much. So I think I'll just skip the weighing at home and go once a week and know what I weighed that week. So there it is and I hope you all have a 
blessed evening, and I will catch you all in the morning for day eight of the Love Dare. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. And these girls just keep texting me, so I better get to them. Little bossy, are we, girls? <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye-bye. God bless.